Here's some information about another vector. Please try to answer this question. Here's the components. Try to identify the overall vector. Well, we can draw a picture. We can draw the x component. We know it's pointing to the right, because right is positive, and this is a positive component. And that's it. There is no y component. There's no y component, so this also represents the overall vector. This is also the overall vector, so the overall vector has a magnitude of 9. If there's no y component, then the magnitude of the overall vector is just the magnitude of the x component. So clearly this overall vector just has a length of 9. How would we describe the direction? Well, I think the best way to describe the direction here is that um, we're parallel to the x-axis. So I would say that uh, the overall vector here has a magnitude of 9 and a direction that's parallel to the x-axis. Our overall vector v has a magnitude of 9 and a direction that's parallel to the x-axis. Try this problem. Let's draw the y component. Well, up is positive, and the y component is pointing in the negative direction, which is down. So here's the y component. And since there is no x component, the overall vector has a magnitude of 2. This arrow also represents the overall vector. The y component is the only component that there is. So the, the same arrow indicates the y component and the overall vector. So the magnitude of the overall vector is 2. Remember that generally we're not going to indicate a sign on an overall vector. Uh, technically, I guess we could indicate a sign here because this overall vector is parallel to one of the axes. But we just want to focus here on the magnitude of the overall vector. The magnitude of this overall vector is 2. And what would we say about the direction? Uh, a good way to indicate the direction here is that this vector is anti-parallel to the y-axis. The vector v has a magnitude of 2 and a direction that's anti-parallel to the y-axis. Remember that it's not enough just to give the magnitude. You must give the direction if the question is asking about the overall vector as a whole. Because vectors have magnitudes and directions. Let's answer this question. We can draw the y component. Down is positive, and the y component is positive. So the y component is pointing down. And since there is no x component, the magnitude of the overall vector is just the magnitude of the y component, which is 5. We have to indicate the direction, which is parallel to the y-axis. Of course, that wouldn't mean anything unless you told the reader that your positive y direction was down. So uh, it would also be part of your obligation to indicate that the positive y direction is down so we know what parallel to the y-axis means. Try this question. The positive x direction is left but the x component is negative, so the x component is pointing to the right. If left is positive and the component is negative, it's pointing to the right. The overall vector also has a magnitude of 3 because there is no y component. If there's no y component, then the magnitude of the overall vector is the same as the magnitude of the x component. 
If there is no y component, then the magnitude of the overall vector is just the magnitude of the x component. This, uh, the same arrow indicates both the x component and the overall vector. And we have to indicate the direction. Well, since we're pointing in the negative x direction, we could say that the vector is anti-parallel to the x-axis. This is a vector with a magnitude of 3 and a direction anti-parallel to the x-axis. That will be more meaningful to your reader if they know that the positive x-direction is to the left. Then they know that the anti-parallel direction is to the right.